Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, here with Morris. At the end of the last part, we just made our way to the entrance to the Pond Coast, but it is blocked at the moment. They haven't finished building the door to the area, which is a bit of a shame, because everybody's laying about. It's a hot day. Actually, it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be a problem, because we're all in the shade. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe they're in the shade. They're feeling a bit sleepy. They just want to kind of uh, hibernate a little bit, so we're going to wake everyone up. You know, coffee break is is over, I'm afraid. I, there's no there's no ideal way of doing this. I think we'll just go get these guys, go get these, and then come back and make our way around. No problem. Oh, I am tired. I've died. I'm, I'm coming off recording the last episode, and I'm really tired for some reason. I nearly just fell asleep right now. <laughs> Well, not right right now, but I'm, I'm talking like five minutes ago. I could have just gone to sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I slept really well last night. I don't know, sometimes you just have those days. Yeah, just checking we're coming the right way. Oh, so yeah, I, I apologize if I seem a little groggy. I, I took a bit of it. I suppose an impromptu nap for some reason. It bothers me a little too much that you can lock on to things that are <laughs> miles away. <laughs> that are inaccessible. I guess it's not too big of a deal. Oh, we can't have that. Status ailments, come on. In this party with Pinello, come on, you, must, you should know better. Really. Look at these guys, they're not even trying to help. Come on, break time's over. Bosch just laying down the law. We're here working on the gate of head, except right now we're taking a break. The boss wants us. He's ugly when he gets mad. How sinister. There's still seven of us on break out there. So yeah, this is a bit of a strange kind of fetch quest in that what we're fetching are Moogles. <laughs> Actual creatures. But I guess it's just a way for you to kind of spend a bit more time in this area, kind of leveling and maybe running into the bomb. If you're really unlucky. Tasty healing right there. Because it is quite easy, you know. If you if you don't if you don't get the maps, it's quite easy to just kind of stumble into the wrong area, stumble into the next area. You know, maybe not even on the critical path, or just kind of stumble. <laughs> Stumble through by accident and not spend the time that you actually need to, you know, to get to, to, to get the most out of being in a new area. Let's get back and be done with it. Come on, the so sooner you get back, sooner it's done, sooner it's the next break time. That's what I say, you gotta think about it. Uh, sometimes I wish I was a Moogle. I mean, they're just so well respected. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not respected, but I mean, I don't know anybody in the world who doesn't respect Moogles, you know, for the work they put in. I probably shouldn't have hit that save crystal, should I? Because now I'm not chaining these guys. <clears throat> oh, don't confuse me. Oh, I blocked, blocked my own hit on myself. <laughs> Probably hit the next area area in this episode. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy to think how you know I used to think these were 
the biggest areas, you know. When I was younger. But it, it just goes to show, I mean, I, I you know, I, I played FF13 when it came out. I was really excited for that game, but it, it... It really felt like a step backwards, you know, from this. I mean, it, it only went open-world-ish, like, 20 hours in. We all know the moment when it did. We were all there. We all saw it. But it's kind of shocking that it happened so late on. And it's like, well, oh, maybe the game was going in a different direction. But I don't buy that argument. It still went, didn't it? It still went, <laughs> it still went to open world eventually. Why not start it off like that? You know, people want freedom in these kinds of games. <coughs> And considering, you know, this was my... F oh, come on. This is my first Final Fantasy. And then suddenly, you know, the next one coming out was not at all what I thought it would be, having played this. I mean, I went back, played 7, and I just figured that they all had that sort of free roam thing going on. I mean, it really was just a corridor, wasn't it? And there was no real, uh, I don't know, there wasn't really much engagement with the battle system, I didn't think. It sort of opened up a little bit once you had your entire party. I found all the Moogles. Oh, you can just go straight to the gate. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. It's probably better to just make my own way there. But we've done it now, so... <laughs> we've made the decision. Look at that. Whistle while you work. Now that my apprentices are back, the repairs took no time at all. Witness the power of Moogles. Oh, he's so proud of his team. <laughs> Look, we have a little, uh, little guard of honor here. We're off to the Cherubi Step next. Once we're done fixing the windmills there, we'll put one back at the tavern in Balfenheim. We're off to do some repair work in the Mosforan Highways next. Ah, they're all, they're all over the place, these guys. Mosforan Highways, yeah. I mean, it's good that they've they've got work. That's all I'm saying. You know, there's they never have a short of work in Final Fantasy Land. The Crafts Moogles League will go anywhere in Evil East where needed when we get around to it. Thanks to you, the repairs to the gate are finished here, a token of our gratitude. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, oh, Sash. I think I need that. Fawn Coast is up ahead. Pretty views there, but the locals, not so pretty. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't say that. That's very offensive. Oh, you meant the monsters. Oh. Yeah, that sash, I think that's what we need, and I think Vaughn is going to wear it immediately, if, if that's... Can, can we do that? Half damage from fire, immune to slow. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of something else then. Oh no, yeah, your speed goes up by 20. Oh, that's so good. That's really, really good. Can I buy it now? I mean, it's out there in terms of accessories. It's oh god, it's all the way out there. Jeez. Okay, well we'll wait. We'll wait just a little bit longer. All right, next area. It would seem we made the right choice. If we'd taken the easy way and come by airship, one of those patrols would no doubt have been quick to roll out the red carpet. We're on the Empire's doorstep now, so we shouldn't have to worry quite so much. But that's no excuse to get sloppy. It is still a long road to the capital.
Oh, I love this team. <laughs> so here we are at the Fun Coast, and I, I, I like this area. It's just a nice-looking beach area. Again, I mean, this, this, you know, this is this right here. This, this sort of shot. I mean, I remember in FF13 when you got to that area that sort of is a big expanse of land. And you go, oh god, I wonder what's in here. I wonder what I can fight in here. I wonder what I can loot. You know, I wonder what quests, what events are going to happen. There's a sense of wonder which comes from open world, and it shouldn't take <laughs> it shouldn't take like 20 plus hours to get to that point. And it put me off the, all the, the FF13 games. Hello, Mandragora. Are you friendly? You seem really interested in Balthia's penis. <laughs> but yeah, this area isn't too bad either in terms of enemies. And I think the difference here between this and the high waste is if you want to avoid something, you can pretty much find a path around all the enemies here. Whereas the highways, you kind of just have to go <laughs> through the narrow corridors. Still a lot of these wolf-type enemies, which is a bit of a shame. They kind of default to these. Oh, I'm still putting haste on him for some reason. I appreciate the gesture about the but not necessary. Kind of just experimenting here. Just want to see what kind of XP values these guys give. There aren't many of them. 653. Wow, that's a cool looking enemy. Wow, that looks great. I'm not going to fight it, but that looks great. A bowline sash. Do I have one of those? What would that be? I must have one. If it's not, if it doesn't go to the bomb, I must have. Oh yeah, I've got one. Immune to confuse. Okay, it's pretty good. I should, <laughs> should take more advantage of those types. More flying enemies. What a shame. But we do have this gi <laughs> giant bow. It looks like it looks like a different race should wield that kind of thing. What do you think? Amazing! Can we hit this thing? Wow. We're doing so good here. I can't wait for it to kamikaze me and just oh good. I can't even keep up with bringing everyone back to life right now. Don't fly out into the sea where I can't hit you. There we go. <laughs> it's all worth it. But yeah, I'm surprised Fran can lift this. I guess she's, you know, she's, hey, she's strong. There's no reason she wouldn't be. She looks pretty trim, you know? Funny, actually, you know, I've uh, recently, well, not recently. I'd, I'd say I'm pretty committed now. I've, uh, you know, been going to the gym pretty regularly for the since since Christmas. So we're into the sort of fifth month now. Um, you know, we're in. It's not just a, it's not just a fad. It's not just a phase. I'm dead again. Being alive in this game seems to be a phase right now. But uh, you know, it's it's. Funny how quickly you realize that, uh, that sort of being sort of fit or strong has really nothing to do with your actual body shape, which I just found really interesting. God, we need to heal up, like fully heal up. Because you can have, uh, you know, the, I, I went to a session recently. Because you know they're classes. It's not. I don't, I don't just work out by myself. 
Not yet, anyway. I don't really know enough to, uh, <laughs> to, to do it by myself. But there were these two guys in this session who were, uh, you know, they were obviously probably, in, you know, well, definitely. In terms of raw strength, they could lift stuff. I couldn't hope to lift, you know what I mean? But when we were actually in the session, it was, it was their first time. And, you know, they struggled to keep up with the kind of intensity of it. So whilst they were, you know, stronger than I was, their stamina wasn't quite the level that I am. So it's it's interesting how it works, you know. I mean, they were giant dudes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they were definitely feeling it afterwards. But you know, you, and you see all t t different types of people, you know. Guys who look out of shape, who are, you know, doing lifting twice as much and going twice as long as I am. You get women who look, you know, like stick thin, but again, lifting twice as much, doing twice as much as I am. So it's just, I don't know, I, I find the whole thing fascinating. I, I mean, I don't, you know, working out is, is fun, but I enjoy learning about how it all works. Just as much, you know. I think it's, yeah, it's a, it's a love of learning as much as anything. I'd say the one disadvantage I have is I'm not very flexible. <laughs> I kind of want to, I don't know, I kind of want to explore, you know, stretching and sort of yoga and things like that. These things are kicking my ass right now. But yeah, stretching in the, you know, even days when I'm not really planning on doing any exercise. And yoga and all that kind of stuff. It's just, I don't know, it, it, it's interesting to me. I've got that kind of bug, you know. These things attack really quickly. Like, wow, do they attack quickly. Jeez. I mean, I'm kind of just spending a bit of time here just to, just to get the levels. These aren't the easiest things to, uh, <laughs> to actually level up on. But yeah, my attitude towards exercise fortunately has changed quite a bit. I, I don't, you know, I, I'm not going to be the preachy type and say, oh, everybody should do it. But I think there's something out there in terms of exercise. There's, there's got to be something out there for everyone. It's just about finding what you enjoy. Because, you know, I've, it's, it's tough, but I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it, you know. I really do with a map of this place. This is a big old area. I might avoid the flying enemies just while I have these guys. Well, I'm gonna have to. I won't, <laughs> I won't be able to fight them. High potion. Yes. Look at this guy loving life. They're not all as friendly. <laughs> We're gonna find that out the hard way at some stage. And I do, uh, I want to keep up with my little blog about, about working out as well. It's, it's interesting because I, I haven't, I haven't been keeping up with it, but I have still been, you know, going to the gym and doing stuff and making progress, but I just haven't been writing about it. Fortunately, I do take pictures of every single workout I do. Because I want to keep a bit of a log of it as well. Not just to track progress, but also, you know, I want to kind of... I'm not going to be paying for the gym my entire life. So I kind of want to, you know, keep... Store the knowledge somewhere, you know. Of what I've done and how it all works. Like I say, I like learning about it. So I like making little notes about stuff. I 
I should go more, though. I only go twice a week, and the sessions are only an hour long, so it's not like I'm suddenly a gym bunny. I mean, I have no desire to be a gym bunny, but... still feel like I should maybe get another hour in there. It won't do me any harm, I can tell you that. Where if these guys buff you, if anything happens? Oh! Oh, it's curing the... It's trying to cure the wolf, but it's still fine with me killing the wolf. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're heading vaguely in the right direction. <laughs> okay, these, guys, these guys are really armored up now. Makes no sense that they have this kind of armor plating. It's like they're, they're creatures. Who put that on there? You know, you hit it and it sounds like you're hitting steel. <laughs> it's like, what, what enemy is born like that? What creature has that at birth? And how painful must that be for the mother, you know? <laughs> wow, we're really good at blocking these guys. <laughs> Jeez. Nice try, Wolfies. Yeah, I think you picked on the wrong one there. Yeah, what a beautiful area to roam around in. If you're going to exterminate the world's creatures, I mean, do it in the sun, do it on the beach. I think it's actually been years since I've actually been to a, a beach. I used to go abroad quite a lot when I was younger. But I, I've never really been bothered about it now that I've grown up. Because there's, there's only so much lounging around on a, on a sunbed that you can do. I'm not really the kind of guy that can get, uh, go, yeah, oh yeah, two weeks. Two weeks in the sun, that sounds great. I mean, it does sound great, but after a few days, I'd be like, God, I've got like a week and a half left of just <laughs> burning in the sun. a guy who appreciates his home life, I think. I mean, travel is an interesting one, because you, you always feel like you should travel more, but... I don't know, I think it's more important just to be... just to be happy with where you are. Oh, we're in a town. Excellent! Why the capital? The Nethysite. I must destroy it. Are you sure? You don't want it for yourself? <gasps> Use its power to restore Dalmasca? Something like that? The best intentions invite the worst kind of trouble. Lusting for ever greater power. Blinded by the Nethysite. Is that how you see me? That does sound like someone I know. He was obsessed with Nethysite. It was all he cared about. Come over here. He'd babble nonsense, hey! blind to aught but the Watch stone's it. power. Like I said, He'd talk about some Enna, or was it Vena? No matter. Thank you. 
Everything he did, he did to get closer to the nether side, to understand it. He made airships, weapons, he even made me a judge. You were a judge? Part of a past I'd rather forget. It didn't last long. I ran, I left the judges, and him. Sidolphus Demon Bonanza. Draclo Laboratory's very own Dr. Sid. That's when he lost his heart to Nethersite, lost himself. And I suppose that's when I lost my father. <sighs> Don't follow in his footsteps. I ran away. I couldn't stand seeing him like that, a slave to the stone. So I ran, free at last. Funny I went for the Dusk Shard. How could I have known that it was Nethersite? And then, of course, I met you. All that running, and I got nowhere. It's time to end this. Cut my ties to the past. It's hard to leave the past behind, I know. Marriage of convenience. A symbol of the alliance between Libradia and Elmasca. This is how they see our marriage. They do, do they? These roles we play. I must admit, I find it wearying. I will play mine. I would have no other. The choice is yours to make, but don't give your heart to a stone. You're too strong for that, Princess. I... I pray you're right, Balthier. I mean, they were under, they were under no obligation to make Balthier any cooler than he already is. <laughs> But then they, A, made him the son of Dr. Sid, and then B, made him an ex-judge. And you never get to see what that looks like, so enjoy your imagination running wild with that one. <laughs> uh, I told you, everybody gets their moment. Everybody gets their little, uh, little backstory. I like it. I like it a lot. And I like this place. Also, oh, shop. A vendor of goods. Ah. Uh. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. It's even better than the st stuff in that last that last shop. And it's expensive. Oh, I can sell some stuff, surely. Yes. Excellent. Probably plenty of good loot that we could uh, grind for here. Not that I'm into grinding. Not in video games, anyway. Still, that's quite a lot. And even more accessories. Ooh. Power armor. Immune to stop. That's good. And I think we've actually seen a lot of these already. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, what else you got? Items. Techniques. <gasps> spells. Powerful, powerful spells. Don't need any of them. <laughs> There's only one, one spell I can think of that I'm going to need, and that's Float. And I think we get that right at the end of the game, so... Thank you for your business. I'll, I'll, I'll invest. But again, I need to look up what's in this area and go... Go do a bit of collecting. There's also some shady bangers around here. As you can see. Uh, it feels like a racial slur, even though that's exactly what it says on the screen. But yeah, let's talk to this shady banger. 
Listen, good boy, I don't hate your kind, I just hate you. So do us a favor and leave. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry. You've the look of a hunter about you, true, but you're a bit wet behind the ears. We're looking for sharp, taloned birds of prey here, so I'm not spring chickens. Run along now. So that's the, uh, that's the Hunter's Club. And we're sort of already part of a Hunter's Club, but this is a different Hunter's Club. And we need to uh, do many more hunts before they'll even start talking to us. But we'll, 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 we'll get it all done at some point. But yeah, I'm going to pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Final Fantasy XII. A little bit of story for you there. We haven't had some for a while. Just been kind of making our way through. And again, still a couple of areas, still some bosses, still some stuff. So there's there's going to be many ups and downs before we even get to Arcadia. So <laughs> ah, I hope you're enjoying this series, guys. I know I am. It's very, very relaxing for me uh, to just kind of... It's just a gentle romp through these areas. It's nice. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you have a good day. And I will see you next time. See you later. God, these things are bright. Oh, you can see Vaughn in the crystal. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Anyway, later, guys. <laughs>